You've probably seen this sort of text effect at least 40,000 times now, so I was actually quite surprised to find out that no one has actually done a tutorial for this in Affinity. So let's change that. Make a new project, make a dark background, add some text of your choice, change the color to orange and choose a nice bold font to fit with it. Now duplicate your text, add a Gaussian blur filter, set it to 25 pixels and set the layer blending mode to color doge. Duplicate this layer, open the Gaussian blur filter back up and set the blur to 100 pixels. Group all three of your text layers, duplicate it and rasterize. Hold control and drag out the text from the bottom until it gets really really long. Drag the layer down one. If you have any holes in your text, go ahead and use the eraser brush tool to erase where the holes should be. Then jump into the liquify persona. Just slightly distort the layer before reducing the brush size and going in to fix these little things poking out. Now head back to your original text layer and change the color to something that's close to right but not fully. Rasterize the text and back to liquify we go. Drag down the text and anything that hangs out, just make it look droopy and look apply. Back to your scribbly lines layer, set the blending mode to hard light and group this with your other group. Duplicate this, drag it slightly to the right or left and hit the effects panel. From here, apply a gradient overlay, set the angle to 45 celsius and create a gradient from blue to a pinkish red. Drag the layer down one and apply a Gaussian blur filter. Set it to 25 pixels, duplicate the group again and set the blur to 100 pixels. Create a new layer, drag it above all your others and select the brush tool. Make the brush pretty big, paint a bit of blue and then some pinkish red. Set the blending mode to soft light, create another layer and do the same but now with a smaller brush and do it over the text. You've probably noticed by now some pixelation in some of the liquefied text. So now we're going to go fix that by adding yet another Gaussian blur filter. Dragging it above the text layers, just erasing most of the parts, excluding wherever is pixelated. We're almost done now, so hang in there, bud. We're just going to do one last effect. Go back into filters and add a half-tone filter to the layer you painted over the text with. Set the soul size to 5 and contrast to 50. Looks pretty cool, right? Well, now it's about to get oh so much better. I'm just going to assume that you have a folder with a bunch of baggy textures, but if not, just Google some or head over to Underground. They have some pretty cool free stuff I highly recommend. Drag these textures over your project and just mess around with some of the blending modes, seeing what looks best. Once you're happy, you can go over to the develop persona and just mess around with these sliders. Well, that's the end of the video. I hope you learned something today, and if you liked this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what you'd like to see in the future, or even if you just want something to explain, and I'm always happy to help. Peace.